Hey YouTube, this is NYY Force 20's race review on the Sunoco Red Cross 500 Pennsylvania 500 at Pocono Raceway. Um, it it was a big race, 200 laps. It was an exciting race. A lot of things happened. Um, so let's get started. Highlight of the weekend was Tony Stewart crashing in practice. After qualifying was rained out, he had the pole, but he had to go to the back. So that moved third place Jeff Gordon up into the pole position. And Jimmy Johnson right next to Jeff. So at the start of the race, Jimmy Johnson got a good, good run on Jeff Gordon and beat him into turn one. He led the next 22 laps. But then, he had spark plug probably spark plug problems, so he had to come on pit road and fix that. He came back out three laps down, so problems for Johnson. Uh, Robbie Gordon and David Stremme had uh, ha uh, were uh, were having tempers flare right uh, with each other. Uh, they were banging into each other. Robbie Gordon spun around once. They got penalized, both of the, these drivers. But, but here's a big wreck off of turn number three, the big turn number three. Uh, David Rudiman and Marcus Ambrose teammates. They're both teammates. Uh, someone got into Rudiman. Nowhere for Marcus Ambrose to go. Rudiman got in the wall. So a big hit for, for Rudiman, who was trying to make it into the chase. Uh, falls back to 16th in the points. So, uh, bad day for, for Rudiman. Ambrose was able to keep his position in the points. Well, after that caution, uh, there was a, uh, Kaya Bush had some more problems, but, uh, that, that, that was done. He finished, like, something like 15th. But, on the restart. Uh, they took a lap. It took a lap. Uh, Clint Boyer pulled out in front. Denny Hamlin drove his way up to fifth. But a lap later, the big wreck. David Reagan gets into Bobby Labonte. Spins, spins him out. Collects four other drivers. Jeff Burton got a piece of it. Uh, Joey Logano got a piece of it. Michael Waltrip got turned into the wall as well as Reed Sorensen. So for the for, so those four drivers were caught up in the wreck along with Labani, but Reagan was able to drive through it. And Jimmy Johnson uh on that caution, he was back uh, or the caution before that, he was back on the lead lap running um uh running 11th actually. So, a big pickup for Jimmy Johnson. So, uh, on the restart, Clint Boyer was your leader. A great day for Clint Boyer and Richard and RCR, uh, with the exception of the big wreck, but great day for Boyer. So, uh, and second was Montoya. Well, and there was Casey Kane, Sam Hornish up there, along with Denny Hamlin. Hamlin had a fast car. Well, on the restart, Clint Boyer was able to lead, the, I guess, the first one or two laps. Um, Montoya and Kane had some contact on that restart. So, really, uh, they, they lost a few positions. But... But now, up at the front, Danny Hamlin, we just told you he had the car to beat. He drives up on Clint Boyer, goes past him for the lead, and then Boyer loses another spot to Juan Montoya. And guess who's trailing right behind these three? How about Sam Hornish? He's having a great day. Final lap, and Danny Hamlin is leading. With uh, and Casey Kane, meanwhile, he's in fifth, but yeah, 
disappointing day for a lot of guys like Robbie Gordon, David Strammy. Um, uh, yeah, but Jimmy Johnson. And the winner is Denny Hamlin. But Jimmy Johnson had a big pickup. He finished up in 13th. And Denny Hamlin was your winner. Montoya finishes second. Boyer third. Hornish fourth. And Kane fifth. So a great day, uh, a great race for uh, for Denny Hamlin. Uh, just days after he lost his grandmother. So an emotional win for Denny Hamlin, but he was able to pull it off. So congratulations to Denny Hamlin. And he went to Victory Lane in the FedEx Toyota here at Pocono Raceway. So a big day for Denny Hamlin. And here's our trivia question for the day. Whose finish do you think was most surprising? Sam Hornish Jr. finishes fourth. Tony Stewart finishes ninth or tenth, maybe. J Jimmy Johnson, thirteenth. Or Carl Edwards, a disappointing day, he finishes eighteenth. Tell me what you think. Uh, which one was the most surprising? Tell, you, tell me what you think about the race. And the next race review will be on the Hell the Good uh, at the Glen. Uh, it's a road course, so expect, ex expect uh, drivers like Tony Stewart to run well. So tell me what you think about the video. And which finish was the most surprising? Denny Hamlin in victory lane at Pocono.